Hello and welcome people, Dark Forest Shadows here and today I'm running through my bag system. It's not the bug out bag with all the content. I'm just going to show you something that I've developed. A lot of different tricks for people out there. Um, and basically I'm just going to rip through this very quickly if you're interested in watching this because this is a pretty damn good system. What I have is two bags here. Um, first off, just here, are knee supports. Now I've taken off the plastic protectors and just used the velcro and the padding as such. But also this serves two purposes. One for your knee. Don't know if you're getting that. I'm in my work clothes. Um, and also for the shoulder strap. Gives you a bit extra padding for a heavier load. So that's the knee pads. I'll just rip the other one off, which is here. Excellent thing. I use this for sleeping. Extra padding at night time. The more you go through the videos with me, the more you'll understand the system I've developed. And basically I've got my Terra Nova 20 litre laser day sack on here. And it's like skin thin. You can just stick your arm through like so. And you don't notice you're carrying it. It's ultra lightweight. It's not as durable. But it's 600 grams, which is nothing. So I'll just pop this off for you. And I've got the elastic hooks here. And get the bloody things off to release it. And then all I've got to do is the shoulder straps to release this day sack, which is there. Now I haven't got this padded out. Excellent day sack. On here, the permanent thing I showed you briefly with the um, knives and fire kit video. I just keep a small K2 on here. Just for quick access, looking at stuff. But this goes down to nothing. 600 grams of nothing. This is an extra pack if I was going to have somebody else in my party, like my girlfriend or whoever. It's just there if need be. And depending on the time of the year, this may be my summer pack out, which I'll go through in another video. So what we're left with here, I um, don't know if you're getting that, it's a Berg house. And you see that there, it's a free flow. Now this is about four years old. And what I've done, I don't know if you're getting this in here, I've ripped out the suspension system. And it's become a mini Bergen. Got the two side pockets obviously. Good durability with a waterproof side of things. I've stitched on a small piece of webbing for my axe to fit in with the side pocket here. Um, and again you've got the other side of the Bergen I haven't fully fitted it out um, and again I've also attached more webbing onto the side here to hold like my scout kit I could have a medical kit fire kit on both sides a smaller webbing just for round the front now I was looking at modding in the climbing harness into this system so I could actually use this bag for climbing with as well um, but I haven't got round to that again it's an excellent bag this weighs just over one and a half kilos with the suspension system which really pulls it out don't know if you're getting this but again like I said I've removed that because I'm not into um, the free flow as such I don't sweat as much as most people out there um, probably because of my build but yeah it's an excellent bag now the only downside some people would say is you can't get to the main compartment with this and you haven't got the split zip for access. This isn't a problem. I like the main chute because I have a specific order of how I keep things within the bag. This is a 25 litre as you can see and also on the bottom here as an example this would actually hold an extra chute a stuff sack with a sleeping bag extra food or whatever 
I should have had that as a demonstration. I've got the other side tucked in. Uh, you can see the hook there. And then these are nice and neat. These pull out for it to hook onto. If you're getting that. And obviously I could attach through the stuff sack. And then latch on. Like so. To create an extra pod. For carrying. Now you just see the P3 pop out. I keep this on a red lens for night time predominantly. And all this is is an extension. Off of the draw cord. Just so I'm able to pop into the bag. Like so. And have a scout or mooch around. Um, again with this system you can see the dirt there. Is where I keep the mess tin. If need be. But I can get by with the scout kit. This doesn't have to sit on the outside. I try and aim for packing everything within this bag. Inside it. Um, like I said I'm a scavenger. So if I'm going to accumulate anything along the way I have the extra bag here which is the Terranova and this has got the split down the centre it's got the bladder compartment I showed you the hook for the various things on the blade video I'm just going round in circles but this is an excellent bag durable enough it's a good webbing on the bottom and then a PU ultra lightweight Water pot, waterproof um, it's just a good all round bag it's ultra lightweight I'm not banging on too much I like the back black style it's good for me um, two compartments up here for various things and what I've done on this second compartment you know the needle and thread job I've got them on the zipper pull and again there's a selection of goodies in there some more there's my coast g g19 that's good light go through that on reviews gerber ascent knife which i found on the inside of my tent thought that was lost so i was well happy that i've obtained this again and i keep one or the other in my bag so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll leave you to it and catch you later.